Let's look how we can create panoramic image inside the Photoshop. So example right here, few images, and you can see I took it in Oregon coast where we have it one shot, I align my lens moving slightly around. We have it some sea lines right there. So we can look on them. So right here are sea lines. And we have quite a bit of images going around. Some of them maybe move a little bit less than other ones. But if we're going through automation process inside the Photoshop, we'll have a very nice stitch image. So let's go ahead and do this. Right here inside the Photoshop, I want to go to File, Automation, and I want to use it for the merge. So I don't need to select anything. Photoshop will do a great job to select automation. Only what I need to go is click Browse and select all my images. You can see it's quite a bit of images I selected. So next also I want to remove vignetting because I know from my lens it will apply some of this. I want to remove some geometric distortions and I want content aware fill up transparency areas. So you will see which areas it will fill up for us. Okay, let's go click this. Go ahead, click OK. Now it will kind of start preloading all of those images in photo merge, analyze them, removing vignetting, and also um, start creating mask. Okay, now you'll notice right here as a start processing, it will start come up information kind of notify that says it's removing vignetting, um, doing some other effect right now, just preloading them. And right here, for example, compute vignetting model. So try to re remove it. Next, we'll can try to realign. Again, uh, one tip when you're doing this kind of um, staying on an area and shot, 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 shot creating, don't change your zoom. So be sure you're on the same uh, focal link, kind of preset everything, same as focus. Um, so as less you change is better. And again, um, Usually I probably rotate around myself, so I will have a little bit parallaxing going on. Um, in other ways, if you have it, your null point on your camera against what you can rotate, that is, will be a little bit better. But again, that should just work fine and Photoshop will do a great job to fill up and add all of those elements. So you can see right here, it's saying it's aligning specific layers, removing vignetting from this and creating mask. So I'm going to pause this tutorial for about maybe a minute or so till Photoshop finish processing images and we'll check this after that. Okay, so right here is merge is complete and you notice we have our image again because I shot for one point we have kind of a bit this bending going over. We could fix this with um, some warping tools make straight but overall it's, it did great job. So let's go ahead and check um, some of those elements. Okay, let me uncheck this with a fill. And what I want to do is just very fast look what Photoshop did here. Okay, let's go to click and check our selections. And you notice right here, here's our first image. So Photoshop align and actually rotate as well. If you look on the mask, it's this mask would apply to our image. Again, it is, you know, before mask, you can see how it's realigned with mask applied. So Photoshop did automatically. So let's add another one. In some cases, it's not too much add. You can just small details. So it's kind of fill up. And let's add more and more and more details to this. Okay, we'll go to select. You can see how it was interesting way generating and of course when it's done we have this our full image because I was from this point in camera maybe move around or other things horizontal line it's not straight so it's a little bit bending and Photoshop see all of this empty spaces and use it content where feel which is actually done a very good job um, to this of course if you want it you can create new layer if you want to realign we always can um, make a little bit straight this line. Uh, one thing I recommend, take um, guidance and just put right here so we can see about where the horizon line kind of going. And after you can go to edit, transform, use the warp tool and just realign again using warp tool, realign some positions, you know, just bring kind of a little bit down in some areas or up 
just make a little bit more straight okay when you're done let's apply this to our image again i just did very fast small adjustment remove some of this uh, kind of round bending and then right here let's remove our line and you can see not that much just a little bit it's going right here but it is it's given us our resolution and again because it's multiple images you can see we have very great details where our C lines kind of resting all over and to just notice see how big and this image is okay so if we look on an image size and it's become 26,000 pixels by 4,800 tall. So it's very nice, very um, interesting panoramic image. Again, you don't necessarily maybe want to do this high resolution, but just in case, this is what Photoshop can do. Very easy, simple automations with a few selections.